Hi Virgo and welcome to your mid-monthly reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Midheaven, and or Venus. However, if you're a newbie and you just happen to click on this channel, welcome to the Mother Teresa channel. May you hear all that you need at this time because there's a reason that you have been brought here. Um, but definitely, if you do enjoy what you hear today, do subscribe for more. But let's go ahead and jump right on into the reading for you guys. What came up as the signifying energy for Virgo was the Ten of of swords the cruise that hounds you or is potentially keeping you bound at this time you have the three of swords now what is real about the situation what came up was the star card but what is wrong about the situation you have the ace of coins in reverse where you need more information, what came up was the Ten of Wands energy. And then finally, by the end of this month, what you can do to overcome your final outcome card, what came up for you was the Ace of Swords. The bottom of the deck, you have the Hermit card. Okay, your energy. So it's just understanding that isolation is meant to be for your ascension, essentially. It's supposed to be an opportunity for you to reach enlightenment about some area of your life that you may have been neglecting or that you have um, consciously and purposefully sought out like as far as like the questions that you need answers to you are going on your own personal quest which is just withdrawing and going within and checking in with your own neural connections and your social conditioning and how life has been for you and the the universal truth and the falsehoods right that you have been told from your youth and growing up and what resonates with you and um and what just feels like an illusion you know um, and just struggling with that so your energy is here I do also want to say that Virgo you might be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aquarius can be of help to you this month because in their own personal reading which if you are involved do definitely check out that video but they also had the hermit card energy and um, I'm not sure if they had their their card which is the star card or if that was more so in Pisces reading but Anyway, just by way of the cards that are coming through, you might be dealing with an Aquarius this month or again, they can be of great service, okay? I do feel like what's going to be highlighted for you is your status, right? And the role that you play in this bigger picture and the place that you feel that you, you have in it. If you feel like or you are struggling with um, being the star, you know, being the protagonist in your own personal story, right? Um, because that's what's coming up here with these two tens and the, the tenth house is all about um, the career that one essentially grows into, right? But where you are on that kind of like totem pole in the hierarchy, there we go of your job or your organization or whatever it is that you are involved in if you have your own business you know you're more entrepreneurial just where you feel like you are um ranking in that area and where you can see growth right but what's kind of stopping you from getting there because i feel like to some degree there is a stunting of growth that you guys are going through here um, there just seems to be a lot of crippling, anxious, paranoia type energy that you guys are having to work through. Your spread is pretty dark, you know. Um, and with the swords energy, I definitely do feel like the throat chakra is affected. So do take a closer look at that coming into the mid-month here. Because the cruise that hounds you, you do have the three of swords, which is all about like miscommunication. And that is what causes physical pain from these swords because you say things that you may not mean or other people might be doing this to you have already done this energy's fluid right um, but there just is no sense of cooperation or harmony and you really need that at this time because it's kind of like why beat a dead horse you know that's the energy that I'm getting here like you're already down and out you don't need those that are in your immediate 
environment or surrounding to also be kind of like nitpicking at you at this time or just um, causing more mental strain is really what's coming through with this card right what's real about the situation is this is a point of great healing especially if you've had to come to the end of some type of organization or work career that you've been involved with, involved with like you you hit the ceiling with how far you can go in the particular thing that you have been doing right and so it's time to close out that chapter, but it can be very hard to let go of, especially if it's been something that you've been doing for 10 years, you know, to some degree, your identity was wrapped up in this thing that you have been doing that you now have to close out, right? I don't want to say it's a person that you've been dealing with, but because we have the three of swords here, it can be a personal relationship that um, has gone through so much conflict, but there's the damage has been done and it can't necessarily be fixed so you're having to walk away from that but whatever it is and however this resonates for you personally right um it means that you can go through a purification process here with this star card there's so much healing energy that is around you and also understanding that there is so much more to life than what you've been living through you know what i mean but you guys aren't seeing it that way because this is in the obstacles position what is wrong about the situation that you're going through there's so much more there are many more opportunities to come it's really hard to understand or to really know what is next for you right in your life especially when you are so accustomed to uh, the way that life has been for a while now it's typically cardinal fixed and then mutable so that's I mean, that's it. All you have to do for you personally and what it is that you're going through is integrate not only your energy, but the sign that precedes you, which is the sign of Leo. So definitely check out that video as well and see what tidbits of information also resonate with you and what you're going through in this particular moment and whatever has caused you to even reach out and click on this video, right? And just piece all of it together so that you can kind of understand the next steps that you can take um, with how to integrate the two energies and how to kind of be more in flow with life instead of trying to build a resistance ag against it you're never going to be prepared you're never going to be ready when things have to come to a close and you're being asked not only by those in your um environment but just by the universe when it's time to make a change when it's time to transform change is inevitable people are going to change consistently throughout your life i bet that you can't even recognize who you were as a teenager right and those habits like you wouldn't dare to do some of the things that you did when you were 10 or when you were 15 or at 30 or at 50 right because these videos reach a wide demographic right this is not limited to just one particular type of person this is for all people going through life and having to um accommodate and adapt to the challenges that they faced you know what i'm saying and so you you wouldn't dare do some of those things you you have outgrown it right so don't call stagnancy in your own life and don't turn down opportunities because you are in this moment hurting over something that has really come to a dead end in your life okay not even talking about people even your own hair right cut those dead ends otherwise you're not going to see any more growth every six months you need to be getting a trim and I'm low-key almost speaking about myself because I can't remember the last time I trimmed my hair but health is wealth take this time in this period of rest that is coming up with the hermit being at the bottom of the deck for you guys right this like incub incubation period that you're about to go through right as you wait for the next thing to come for it to be known to you you know do ask 
the universe to kind of give you that guidance if you're unsure about what is to come next if you don't know what it is that you are passionate about this is that opportunity for you to go and do the thing that you've always wanted to do you know like as a child what it is that you wanted to do profession wise before again that social conditioning kind of came in and people tried to turn you away from something because in their eyes it wasn't perceived to be a stable uh, option to choose from right wasn't realistic in their eyes they couldn't see how you as an individual could profit from by utilizing your own personal resources by using you you know and um and just making you scared to take risks in life healthy risks in life you know what I'm saying? Um, now is the time to be able to do that. Of course, after, again, you go through the purification period where you do the healing, where you come to accept what has happened and what is coming, you know? Accept what has happened, accept what is, and we'll accept what is coming. Understanding and having the wisdom to know the difference between what you have dominion over, what you can change on a personal level and in your immediate surrounding as far as like who you decide to uh, continue to grow through life with as companions, right? Because I do feel like with this Three of Swords, that is it also another topic for you, companionship and what makes sense, who makes sense in this stage of your life, who's really there to support you, right? At your lowest point, make sure that you are looking around to see who actually checks up on you and who actually is trying to help you, not just by distracting you and taking you out to the club and making you do recreational drugs or, you know, um, making sure that you're feeding into old habits, old negative habits and thought patterns and behavior patterns and stuff like that, but who is actually trying to get you to open your eyes and see more for yourself and try to um, help you by way of giving you resources that they have that they know that they won't use type of thing right so if they know that you're passionate about real estate and they have somebody that they've connected through th through their work that is also involved in real estate it's setting up that type of luncheon where you guys can meet and you can kind of bounce ideas off of somebody so watching for those types of people at this time but um also just making sure you're spending the necessary time to sit with and uh acknowledge and observe and integrate and then expand upon this past cycle that you're just coming out of understanding seasons right understanding that um all of this is inevitable that there is good reason for what is going on in your life whether you choose to believe that or not right regardless if it is positive negative or neutral there is a lesson in it there is a blessing to take from it but you have to be aware enough to realize that okay where you need more information you have the ten of wands again going back to status and the role that you are to play um, in the bigger picture and how you have been backstabbed potentially all these losses that you have incurred it's just looking at your 10th house and why you were again supposed to go through that because everything is for a reason so it's not taking anything personally you know what I'm saying you can finally take out the spokes right and walk away from it for good right this is all about completion this is not looking back with regret no matter how these things may have unfolded in your life there there needs to be no sense of regret when you decide to move forward you know what i'm saying only look back if your ass is in the mirror okay and then by the end of the month what you can do you have the ace of swords so this is redefining who you are so just speak into existence what it is that you want for yourself next once you actually know what it is that you want so that the universe can deliver that to you and not give you something that sort of kind of fits the bill but isn't exactly what you hope to see so this is calling for you to be impeccable with your word so that's what I have for you guys now as far as your chakras are concerned again that throat chakra that heart chakra your sacral chakra get those into balance 
okay and be open to the possibilities as well by the end of the month and how things can change and what it could look like for you okay um if this video did resonate do give me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family and do subscribe for more